there isn't much difference when I say P O L I S H. So the only difference would be uh, in the pronunciation. One is uh, Polish and the other is Polish. We're going to see today how polished this Polish actress Erika is. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Erika Kar. Hello. How do you pronounce your name, by the way? Oh, God. <laughs> you want me to pronounce my last yeah, name? You, yeah, please. Because, uh, you know, the, the Polish version is Erika Karkuszewska. It's quite terrible. Say that again. No, please. Erika? No, say that. I, I want to learn. Erika Karkuszewska. Erika Karkuszewska. Oh, very well. Erika Karkuszewska. La ladies and gentlemen, we have Erika Karkuszewska from Shevai. No, 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 no. It, it's wrong. gone bad. No. <laughs> Just stick with Erika Kar. Erika Kar. Easy. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you Erika Kar from Shevai. Hello. Cheers. Let's, let's cheers to yes. Shevai. Thank you. And this is a Polish coffee, by the way. How Erika has made it. She's mixed. Indian coffee with black coffee and that makes a Polish coffee yeah so you know what to do now we like it very strong yeah. just a little bit of milk there but good good you're looking gorgeous thank you I have never met a Polish girl in my life okay so you're the first okay <laughs> so are you shy no you no, no 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 okay. I'm, I'm a little bit uh, you know dazed and confused because we had to get ready so fast and come here so that's now you can relax yeah. Okay. The first question I'm going to ask you is, give me proper tips on how an Indian man can date a Polish girl. Oh, I think these are the same tips as for uh, to date Indian girl. No, no difference. No, not really. No? But t tell me what, what, how, how would a Polish English. girl, how would a Polish girl kind of get impressed? Oh my God, I have no idea. <laughs> Hasn't anyone proposed to you? Well, I have, I'm in a, you know, committed relationship. He doesn't have to, he impresses me. Every day. Yeah, without, without trying. But uh, what could an Indian boy do? Well, you look, you look a bit different than we do. So this is an advantage already because it's something, you know, like when I come to India, it's original that I'm blonde. So for you would be original to be, um, to have dark hair or, or have more of a tan. So that's already good. Uh, speak English because no one speaks Hindi in Poland, no one. <laughs> and that's it, I, I don't know, I, I don't have any clues. You know, I've got you these uh, amazing brownies, hazelnut cream, mm -hmm. okay, and there was another brownie downstairs, I didn't pick it up, I saw the label and I kept it back. You know what it was called? Yeah. Blondies. Blondies I would eat. <laughs> you would have had? Yep. And this is the, I think the white chocolate and hazelnut, yeah. So pick your choice. No, 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 wait. Okay, one question. Why do we have sweets? Because the show can get sweeter. Okay. With you. I'll try this one. But See, I this is what actresses need to learn. You can't be just, you know, faking it. Look, look, she's having the brownie. Why wouldn't I? Actresses, Sorry. you need to have brownies on the show. On any show, I mean. Actresses are the... starving apart from the show. So I know, so we are, I mean, I'm going to have some. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, nice. It's mm. mine, but you can have it. It's nice. Okay. Ajay Devgan. Mm -hmm. I want to ask point blank, right in front of you. Is he a better actor or a better director? These are two different categories. So he's a diff certain type of actor with a, you know, great uh, esteem and he's experienced and everything. And he's a director. These are two completely different things. And both he does really, really well. So I wouldn't compare these. Erika is having a lot of coffee and I think that's affecting her mind. No, no. She's being too diplomatic. No, but you can really... I personally, if you ask me that question, I would say he's a better actor. The reason is because he's done more films than directed films. This is his second directorial film. And uh, you think he's going to now direct more? Have you asked him that question? No. I try not to uh, impose too much and like ask him all these questions like what are you I just told him to get a long vacation after that because he's really <laughs> exhausted but um, generally I don't think he's a better actor or a better director he it's just as if you said that for example I'm a better comedy actress because I played in more comedies than I did in dramas but I wouldn't necessarily uh, judge it on the basis of that mm -hmm. he might be a great director but just direct one film throughout his whole life right 
So yep. for me, it was really good to work with him as a director and as an actor. But as an actor, it was more fun because the director is really busy all the time. And Adre, the actor, could, like, you know, sometimes when he didn't have to arrange everything mm, directing wise, we, we could have some fun and mm. stuff like that. So before this offer came to you, the mm -hmm. Shivai film that fell in your lap, was Poland really equipped? Did, did anyone in, in, in Poland knew that what Bollywood is and, you know, yeah. any of your friends or your cousins or probably from someone from your family has seen any Bollywood films? My friends, my girlfriends, I have like a, you know, pack of best friends from high school. They are crazy about Bollywood. They're oh, crazy are they? about Kajal. So I got the film, I was like, ooh, it's in Bollywood, so it's India. Who is Ajay Devgan? And they were like, you know, screaming, <laughs> psychopathic and telling me, please take a photo with Kajal. So there are fans of Bollywood, but I think not enough in Poland because um, the Bollywood films are played maybe in one, two cinemas in Warsaw and it's a capital. And the awareness is not very high of mm. stars from over here. But I think like compared to, because Polish cinematography is very serious. We do lots of films about the war, rapes, uh, problems in the society, drugs, it, it's, it's not... More relevant subjects? No, I wouldn't necessarily call them relevant. They're more serious and to be thought through and stuff like that. And I think that some of the charm and lightness of Bollywood would do very well to my people <laughs> who are too serious. But uh, yeah, it's still to be done. Oh, okay. And this is your first film? Mm -hmm. Like first ever film? Yes, I'm still in school. Like, I'll graduate from drama school this year. Oh, wow. So I'm still a student and it's my first film. So that's, that's amazing. Like, Bollywood, okay, has picked a student who is now going to graduate from drama school. Yes, Central and School of Dramatic Arts. So, so tell me, were you really confident when you landed it? Because normally people graduate and then kind of polish their act up. Were you that confident? Hang on, I'm still studying drama. I'm still not, like, I'm 50-50 here. Do mm -hmm. I do this? Do I not? Did you think about it before you signed Shivai? Sometimes when, when I get a challenge, like during my first year of studies, I got the part in the uh, British TV series okay. for the First World War Centenary. And sometimes I know that the challenge is going to be big, but I never feel that I'm not up to it. Like, it never crossed my mind that, oh. you know, it, you can't be afraid. If you're afraid, you're not going to do it. So. It's more about preparations and, oh, how much time am I going to have to spend to learn Hindi or something, but... How much time did you take to learn Hindi? <sighs> to learn for my character, it took me half a year, just to learn, you know, basic word, the entire script. And then I would take some more classes, but uh, I still, I consider myself totally not a Hindi speaker. You consider yourself lucky as well? Oh, yes. <laughs> Very much. Who made the first call to you? from the production house, or was it a casting director? Oh no, it's uh, in Poland, like, okay, in Poland, outside Bollywood, it works like that, that you have an agent who represents you, right. negotiates for you, yes. you know, argues with the productions for you. So she just called me and said that they picked me. But the casting director, during the casting, she already told me that they really like you. So I had some hint from them. So I'm gonna, Surprise you now. I, I, I've already surprised you with a lot of sweets, mm -hmm. okay? But I'm, I'm going to surprise you with something. My hand goes right in here. Yeah, okay. Uh, can I? Yeah. So this Ooh. is a... Gold. A token of... Uh, you wish. <laughs> My producer will be like bankrupt by now. I know. But here, please. This is for you. Thank you. Token of appreciation. You need to open it. Yeah, yeah, I'm just uh, trying to guess what that might be. So, so guess first. Um, something traditional, Indian... Close, very close. Uh, very close, you pass. Ooh. What is this? What is this? Do you know what that is? No okay. idea. So, yeah, it's yours. You have to hold it. You have to hold it. So that is a shivling. Oh, Shiva's shivling. Yes. Nag. Yeah, the nag. Hanji. And that's the shivling. And these are the bells. So it's... Oh, it's... <coughs> it's good luck. Well, it's very beautiful. It's, I'm sure my family the, will be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very uh, <laughs> happy is, once I <laughs> explain to them what that is. It's very nice. Thank you. You're welcome. What about Bollywood as a career option? Will it be a one-off for you? Or you think 
okay now that you've got a chance you're working with one of the top most actors in bollywood mm -hmm. will this continue will we see you more often because there are actresses who've come from sri lanka like jacqueline fernandez or nargis fakri who's come from you know all over the place but she's predominantly from united states and you know and they've made their mark here mm -hmm. you think there there, chance, there is a possibility of seeing you more i think it's every actress's wish for that to happen and i hope that it is a possibility but i just have to wait for people to see my work to see you know how i acted in shivai and then they can you know base some opinions or future job prospects on that mm, but i would love that of course plus i think i was very lucky to have ajay as my first you know actor boss I, i call him boss, boss because him call obvious. him obvious <laughs> he hates it so as as my you know leader and co-star and director because not only have i done a film which is going to be hopefully a big thing right. on diwali but also it was not painful at all like i was respected all the time listened to mm. my opinion as i told you i'm just a student and my opinion was really important on the set like he would say you know we would go prepare a scene like what do you think what should we do and it shocked me at first but then i was like you know woohoo i get to i i get to say something so i'm really happy about that and i hope that if i have some future bollywood experiences they would be equally and wonderful yeah. yeah have you ever given a piece of advice to ajay devgan on acting no <laughs> no why not cuz he was doing everything very well would did you share any 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 experiences yeah. of your So then like tell us. okay I don't know uh, they will cut it out okay if I'm saying too much because I don't know if I'm allowed to but like for example we were shooting first we were shooting some scenes where we were both older so what I saw was Ajay the director behind the camera and working 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 or Shivai let's say older and then like after some time quite a lot of time we would shoot some scenes I can't say anything about the plot of them being Please don't younger And then I was so shocked because I look at the guy and he's moving differently. He's walking differently and I was like, "Hey dude, you're walking differently today." <laughs> Miss Mr. Devgan, you're walking differently today. He's like, "I know. It's my young walk." And he showed me all these tricks like he would transform himself from one day to another to a 15, 20 year old younger guy. Wow. And you know with like something about his eyes, something about the way he moved his shoulders. So we would discuss that and you know he helped me a lot it was more like i cuz i'm observing everyone on the set right. the children the uh, co-stars older younger episodes whatever like uh, you know i want to i want to learn from everyone around me sure so i would ask him many questions and he was really great he would always explain to me and i think when i noticed the walk he was quite happy like <laughs> yeah did you research about ajay devgan before you met him oh. and uh, after researching which are the films that you saw of ajay devgan first mm mm-hmm. Uh, so first of all yes i rehearsed uh, i uh, researched because i was told that i would have to kiss the co-star so i was like oh my god i'm going to kiss someone <laughs> and uh, i did a whole research mm. and then uh, they told me not to watch any films so oh. yes it was uh, they ajay asked me himself not to watch any bollywood films not to get to know about anything so that it doesn't um You don't come with a effect. baggage. Yes, so that it doesn't affect the way I act and my character because right. uh, you know, I was sure that if I would watch a beautiful Bollywood film and uh -huh. see the main actress with her hair in the wind that it might affect my character mm -hmm. and our film is very very realistic. You must be famous in Poland now, right? Now that you've done this huge film that's releasing on the most auspicious day, Diwali. My plan, secret secret plan is not to be known in Poland at all because privately I like to walk in sweats with no makeup with a ponytail on the top of my head so right. it would be quite uncomfortable for me to be recognized in my country so I try to keep it really low profile. Okay. They know about it like they do some interviews with me they invite me to nice. you know TV shows but I try not to do it because it's really nice to walk in the streets and have no one recognize you. Which are which are your favorite Hollywood films? My favorite Hollywood yeah, film? Top 3. Oh my god. Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf number 1? Okay. The Notebook number 2. The you most know. romantic saga ever. Oh god, I love it. And number 3, number 3, number 3. What could it be? I don't know. Oh, 
I love this. Um, it's a very, very um, easy, simple film, but I love it. It's called Knocked Up, about a girl who goes to a disco and gets pregnant with a guy. And, <laughs> and sorry. Oh, she gets pregnant, and then uh, <laughs> and no. then they she's played a lot of pregnant roles before. <laughs> yes. Erica has played a lot of pregnant roles before. Now we're going to take a, an, another surprise. Okay. Okay. You have something else out there. <laughs> Give this me. one. You have to guess it. You're a good guesser. It's another. Is it Trishul? No, <laughs> not Trishul. No, this is enough. I have no. It's it's something framed. I feel that it's connected to Bollywood or to she religion. She is. Erika is such a good guesser, man. It is an empty frame. Yeah, because we you have to put our picture inside, How not beautiful. you and Ajay Devgan. Totally with Ajay Devgan, but so beautiful. We can take a photo together. Yes, we should. Yes, we should. It's uh, very lovely. It will go well on my wall with a yes. shivering. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. My my grandma would be proud of you, you know. Yeah. Gold. Oh, but you already have a man in your life. Oh yes. Grandma, come on. I do. I do, and she loves him very much. So. Thank so you. So your love for Bollywood and your love for Bieber. Are you a Bieber? Fe you have a Bieber fever. Like a Justin Bieber. Oh, Justin Bieber. Yeah. I'm too old, I think. But would you would you listen more of Bieber or more Bollywood songs? You must have heard some Bollywood songs, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Not the Shivai, Shivai of course, but anything beyond that. Yeah, I like very much Bori Churia. Bori Churia. Bori Churia. Um, I like Pinka. I like Divani from Bajirao Mastani. Interesting. So we're gonna play a game here now. Oh, I like games. Okay. First time on the show. Woohoo! Tell me, what should I do? Okay, I'm going to ask you a question, mm -hmm. which will have never have I ever. And you're going to answer um, whether you have or you haven't. So whether you have, say like for example, never have I ever... Smoked a cigarette, uh, smoked yes? Smoked a cigarette. And then so, if so I... So if you have, you say I have, and if you haven't, say never. So I do like this? No, that's this or this. Oh, more difficult. Like okay. Okay. Okay, I'm Sorted. ready. You ready? Wait, wait, wait. I have to focus so that I don't lie. Mm -hmm. There's a light detector as well. There. Underneath you. Above your clutch. Okay. Okay. Shall we play Never Have I Ever? Yes. All right. Here we go. Never have I ever reached late on the sets of Shivai. If I never did that, I... This? Yeah. Okay. You have never reached no, no, no. late? Please. Okay. Diplomatic. Ajay would kill me. <laughs> Diplomatic answer, that's fine. She must have reached like 10 minutes, 15 minutes late. Mm -mm. Never have I ever disagreed to Ajay Devgan's advice. Oh, you have disagreed to Ajay Devgan's advice. Yeah, it's about... Which one? Okay, so which one would you have... like? Oh, I don't remember exactly, but you know, it's about creating scenes together. So oh. once we were creating them, if he said something, I was like, yeah, but this or like it's it's not a big deal but once you're working with a co right. co star sometimes you so you did, did give suggestions to him no maybe not suggestions but when i wanted to do something in a certain way i would tell him and sometimes he would say cool and sometimes he would say erica stop shut it. up <laughs> stop it <laughs> yeah never have i ever kissed a guy on the first date no 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 it's not good no why Oh no, I don't judge other people. It's lovely to kiss on the first date, but I don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so you believe in it, but you haven't kissed a guy on the first date? I, I, I'm rather a conservative uh, person. Oh, you so are? Yes. Okay. So I enjoy one boy to kiss. Oh, and uh, Shivaya on the set, but that's oh, yeah, that's fine. So. Okay. Never have I ever cheated in school exams? Oh, I have. What? I will not say. Come on, your teacher is going to watch. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Okay, so in uh, middle school, I had uh, lots of French because I went to Polish French middle school. Okay. And we had like three hours of French every day and like tests every two or three days. And it was so difficult that my friends and I would buy these pens, like pen, it's so, my grandma is a teacher, she's going to kill me. <laughs> the pen had like um, rubber, see-through rubber here where you're supposed to hold it. Okay. And we would make those small pieces of paper and write in a really, really tiny letters, some help. Ooh some, you know, uh, learning help and we would put it under the rubber and we would just write like this. Oh, I'm writing my test. And I... And you would see it on the pencil? Yeah. On the rubber? 
Yeah, but it was so much work to do it that it was like stunning. So, to do this help. So you've give, you've just given a lot of audience tips on how to copy in the exams. Listen to Auntie Erika. It's very very. You said Auntie Erika. Okay. <laughs> That's how we say it in Poland. Like, oh, is it? Listen to Auntie someone when you give okay. someone advice. Okay, Sorry. Okay. Never have I ever shoplifted. No, 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 no. Yeah. You've been a good girl. Yes. Sure. <laughs> yes. There are a lot of CCTV cameras. Okay. Never have I ever sent a wrong text message to someone. Oh yes. Oof. <laughs> Horrible. Yeah, no, you have to yes. tell us. You have to tell <laughs> us which one. And what was the message? And who did you send I it to? I sent. I I wanted to send it to my sister and say say very mean stuff about one person which I didn't like, and because I was so heavily thinking about that person that I didn't like, I sent it to that person. <laughs> and it was my aunt and it was terrible. I don't want to talk about it. It was horrible. Well, the last one. You have to be oh. very honest with this, okay? Last one? You want to play more? Yes. Okay. Never have I ever slapped my boyfriend. Slapped? What what do you mean? Like slap. I never slapped anyone. No, okay. Or maybe sorry, in a theater play, but it was on the stage and they told me to. So Oh, okay. Oh, and I think I slapped Shivai. You like, sla you slapped it's in the trailer. Even. No, he told me to. <laughs> I was no, but this was off the set or on the set? No, on the set. No, God. Like, it's mm. even in the trailer. Like, when they're fighting and yeah. my character is fighting with Shivai, right. she does like this. Mm, mm. Huh. But that's not slap. That's, slap is like... On the face? Huh, like... No, never. Chata. In Hindi, no. you call chata. In Poland... What do you call it? In Poland, polichek. Ponichek. It's, it's, it's a huge offense. Like, what even... What are you saying? Huge. Like, here, the slap? No? No, 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 no. That's no. an offense. Like a major one. Yeah, so I never did it to anyone. I have never received a, sl a slap like that. And yeah. On that note, you have performed very well. And we shall give you another gift. Yay. Thank you. You want to play more? I have. Uh, the questions are over. You, you want to ask have... me? Of course I want to ask you. Okay, let's, let's do a role reversal. <coughs> no, you can ask me the same questions. Hello. Let's start the interview. All right, my dear. Are you ready? Yes. Have you ever... No, never have I... Huh. Never have I ever... Never have I ever been nice to an actress that I really didn't like during the interview. Please go slow. Okay. <laughs> never have I ever pretended to be nice to an actress during an interview which I didn't really like. Really? Never. No. Never have I ever dyed my hair. Can you see there's like a proper uh, salt and pepper look? <laughs> very, very, very proper. Very nice. Hmm. Salt and pepper that I never heard before. Okay. Never have I ever lied during an interview. Of course I have. Good. Never have I ever manipulated a famous person during an interview. Manipulated never. to get answers. Never. Never? Never. When you showed me this, we were asking questions. Yeah, but not manipulate. That's okay. not manipulate. Okay, okay, okay. I was trying to... Wrong English. I not was manipulate. Trying to <laughs> pull, you know, some strings. Okay. Never have I ever stole some money. I have. You stole money? Yes, from my dad's uh, sh uh, pants. I was in school. Oh. And I needed money to treat my girlfriend, so... Treat? Oh, buy her food. Yeah, yes. like, not Sweets, food, but... but Present or something, so yeah. That's okay, that's forgiven. Mm. <sighs> what could I ask? Last one, last one. Last one? Uh -huh. Okay. Never have I ever come to an interview completely unprepared. I have. Okay, one last. <laughs> never have I ever was it this interview today? Sorry, never have I ever? Was it this interview that you came to unprepared? Okay. Very nice. You Perform well. Very but, nice. But Erica deserves the gift. Uh, I'll have to get up. Yep. To get you the present. I hope it's wrapped in gold. It is. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. We have Erica packed in a box. What? Is it for me? That's Abigail. Oh my no, God. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm, that's a very bad joke. <laughs> that's for you. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to be quite scared of you, isn't it? That my co Listen, I'm a guy who gives gifts, okay, to this wonderful, working. beautiful looking girl, and you're, you're scared of me. Ooh. Oh. Oops, sorry. What yeah. a beautiful thing. 
it's you, a you know candle. What? Yes, it is. It's a candle uh, stand. And that's all I had money for to shop for Erika. It's nice, thank you. I'm so happy. At the start of the interview, I said, let's see how polished this Polish actress is. She has answered amazingly well. She wasn't diplomatic. At first, Erika was. Then she opened up. You know why? Because she kept on opening up the gifts. Uh, and she liked it. Thank you so much, Erika. Thank you. And it's been a pleasure meeting you. Uh, I hope it's not the first and the last. We want to see you more as we discussed. And thank you so, so much for gracing Bollywood Times with Devansh Patel. Thank you. It was lovely to meet you. Thanks. I'm Erica Carr and you're watching Bollywood Times with Devanj Patel.